Welcome to our first lesson about working with assemblies in Inventor. Before we dive into the assembly, we're going to create a project. For more information on projects, please review our previous lesson on this topic. Let's begin by clicking the Projects button. Now let's click New. Project Type, Single User. And let's click Next. First, let's specify the project path. I've got the path I want on my clipboard. I'll just right-click and paste here. The project name, let's call it Assembly. Down below, Inventor gives us the location of the project file. It's an IPJ document, and this is basically an XML document. You can open it in any text editor. Let's go ahead and click Next now. Here we can map libraries that we want to make available to this project. Let's leave as is and click Finish. And we get a message saying the project path we entered doesn't exist. Should it be created? Yes, let's click OK. Here is our new project at the top of the list. Let's double click it to activate it. Now assembly is the active project as indicated by the check mark next to it. Here are project specifications below the type single user. The location of the file, as we had specified earlier. Included file, we have none here. Let's expand the Options branch. Here we can specify the number of backup copies to keep. Currently, I've got one, and I'll leave it as is. Let's click Done. And we'll leave the other options as default also. Let's click Done. Now let's go to the Tools tab, Application Options. Click on the File tab. Here's the location of the Projects folder. This is where Inventor keeps the shortcuts for all existing projects. Let's cancel out of the Application Options dialog window. Now if I create a new document, let's click on New. My new project appears here, already pre-selected. Let's cancel out of the New File dialog window. And this concludes our lesson about creating a project for your assembly.